Hello everyone. We are all aware that good health is priceless. So, today we are going to understand the basics of how vitamins help boost our body immunity. What are vitamins? They are essential micronutrients needed in small quantities for proper functioning of our bodies. Our body cannot make vitamins independently. That is why we need to ingest them through food. There are 6 types of vitamins A, B, C, D, E and K. Immunity is our body's ability to resist an infection. Let us look at how each vitamin helps in this process. We all are aware that vitamin A helps in maintaining good vision and promotes proper growth and development of the body. Some lesser known facts are that vitamin A helps form white blood cells which are our body's defenders an important component of innate or inborn immunity. Vitamin A protects epithelial integrity which means it helps keep our skin and other physical barriers intact like a wall keeping out germs called front line of defense. This vitamin also helps produce mucin. Mucin or mucus is a sticky substance that helps trap foreign objects trying to enter our bodies. This is called antigen non-specific immunity because it does not differentiate between foreign objects, be it dust, germs, or pollen. We require around 600 micrograms of vitamin A per day. Some common sources of vitamin A are green leafy vegetables, yellow orange vegetables and animal sources like milk, eggs and fish oil. Artificial sources of vitamin A are fortified foods such as cereals, juices and dairy products. Vitamin B is called a complex because it is made up of eight sub vitamins vitamin b plays an important role in maintaining our energy levels and helping our brains to function this vitamin helps strengthen our immune system which is constantly on alert warding off invaders vitamin b promotes the production and function of our body's defenders the white blood cells in fact it is impossible to produce white blood cells in the absence of vitamin B12 or cobalamin. Antibodies are like security guards. They identify the invaders and alert the body's attackers. Deficiency of vitamin B causes a decrease in the number of antibodies, making us more susceptible to infection. Depression is a major mental health concern which is linked to low levels of vitamin B in the body some important sources of vitamin B are cheese peanuts sunflower seeds chicken eggs and fish as well as whole grain cereals vitamin C also called ascorbic acid helps in the maintenance growth and repair of the body vitamin C has gained a lot of fame recently owing to its ability to keep colds away our immune system is made of our defenders that is our white blood cells or wbcs one particular type of wbc called lymphocyte are involved in acquired immunity which we gain through exposure for example through vaccines or past infection these cells are of two types t cells and b cells Vitamin C aids the production of these essential cells. Vitamin C also helps by preventing apoptosis or premature death of these T cells. This vitamin also increases the production of interferon, a protein which helps our body cells to identify and fight viruses. Vitamin C enhances phagocytosis, which is the process by which defense cells engulf bacteria. and render them harmless we require 2 to 3 micrograms of vitamin c per day some important sources of vitamin c are citrus fruits such as amla guava oranges and kiwis tomatoes strawberries and other green vegetables also contain good amounts of vitamin c as we all know 
Vitamin D is essential for healthy bones and teeth. It maintains calcium levels in the body, ensuring smooth functioning. A lesser known fact is that vitamin D receptors are found on immunological cells, suggesting that it modulates innate and adaptive immunity. Deficiency of vitamin D causes brittle bones and autoimmunity. Autoimmune diseases are those where your body's defenders turn against your own body, just like traitors. Low levels of vitamin D are also associated with an increased susceptibility to infection. We require around 5 micrograms of vitamin D per day. Common sources of vitamin D are sunlight, which is further processed by our liver in our bodies, fish, meat and eggs, as well as dairy and soy products. Vitamin E is important for the maintenance of healthy skin and hair. It helps protect our cells by its virtue of being an antioxidant. But what is oxidation? Just like a burning candle produces both heat and light, digestion of food produces both energy and free radicals. Free radicals are also produced on exposure to harmful products such as tobacco and radiation. These free radicals are harmful to our bodies. They directly cause cell damage. This could lead to heart and other diseases as well as cancer over time. Damage to cells by free radicals is what accelerates the aging process. What antioxidants do is neutralize these free radicals, thus preventing our precious cells from harm. Vitamin E is essential for the optimal function of our T and B cells, which are of great importance in our immune system. It also helps prevent lipid peroxidation, which means that vitamin E shields the lipids present in our cell membranes from breaking down. We require approximately 8 to 10 milligrams per day. Sources of vitamin E are all varieties of nuts, seeds and oils. The last vitamin we are going to look at is vitamin K. This is essential for the clotting process of blood, without which we would continue to bleed through the tiniest of cuts. Vitamin K is also known to affect the immune and inflammatory response of our bodies. This vitamin aids in the metabolism of our bones, thus keeping them healthy. Vitamin K also helps regulate blood calcium levels, ensuring balanced concentration of all essential minerals. We require around 50 to 100 micrograms per day. Vitamin K is found in almost all green vegetables, the most famous sources being broccoli, cabbage, cucumber, ladyfinger and green beans. I hope this video has opened your eyes to the importance of vitamins in maintaining a strong immune system. The key is to mix things up and include a variety of foods in your diet. Please do share this video with everyone who would benefit from it. Until then, stay healthy and do subscribe to our channel.